Sakafet YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make some crispy fried fish. Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some crispy fried fish. Now I am going to be using some kingfish. You can use whatever fish you have. I find these kingfish fillets to work really brilliantly and the first thing I will do is to just tap off any excess moisture from the fish so that the coating can stick on there easily. For the coating, we're going to be using some cornmeal and I'm going in with about 2 cups of fine cornmeal as well as some flour. I will be adding in my favorite seasonings. You can use whichever seasonings you prefer but I find the flour to work really well as a binding agent and I'm going to season with some garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning, some chili powder just for a little kick, some mixed herbs of course and I'm going to put a little drop of sea salt in there as well. You can always add whatever seasonings you have like I said and just mix it in well. After it's nicely incorporated, feel free to taste this to see if it has enough seasonings to your preference and then we're gonna go ahead and just coat these fish pieces in that beautiful cornmeal mix. After it's all done, I have my oil heating up. I'm gonna add some scotch bonnet peppers in the oil for some extra flavor. No, it's not gonna make the oil spicy. It's just gonna add some flavor to the oil. I have about six kingfish pieces and I'm gonna fry them two at a time. You don't wanna overcrowd the pots because my pot is not that big. And I'm just gonna fry them, I'd say for about three, four minutes on either side on sort of like a medium heat. And yes, my darlings, once this is nice and golden and crispy, flip it over to cook on the other side and just repeat the process until all of your fish pieces are fried. Once the first set was done, this is how it looks. Oh my goodness, literally I am drooling all over again at how beautiful this looks. So, so crispy. It's not coated in so much excess butter or anything like that. So you know this is extremely tasty. I'm gonna go ahead and just fry the remaining four pieces. And once I'm all done, I will show you how it all looks.
So there you have it all done. My crispy fried fish is all ready. I did garnish with some lemon slices. Oh my goodness, guys, this was absolutely amazing. So I really hope you enjoy this easy fried fish recipe. Try it soon. Let me know how you like it. Feel free to be creative when you're making this by adding your favorite seasonings. Yes, my darlings, this was it all done. I really hope you enjoy the recipe. See you again in my next one. Bye-bye.